guys, it's Celia, and today I'm here with another video. I'll be reviewing some products from Heritage by Mindy McKnight, and these products you can get from Walmart for $8 each. I was interested in the products because one, they're affordable, and then two, I did like the message or the story behind the brand. So Mindy McKnight is a big YouTuber um, who has a ton of like hairstyle videos on her channel, and she is also a mother of six, two of those children being adopted and they are black children so she wanted to create you know products that could work for everyone in the family and not only just her family but you know all around the world so i did really like that all the products are sulfate free paraben free silicone free mineral oil free color safe cruelty free and vegan and i'm just gonna show you um how the products i got worked on my hair and whether or not i liked them so I started with the Double Down Conditioning Wash Shampoo, which is meant to gently cleanse and moisturize your hair and scalp. Initially, I was not a fan of the smell. It smells like old lady perfume. And then you'll even see on my face, I was really shocked at the fact that this was pretty much like a conditioner or a co-wash. Like there was no type of lather. Um, it just was not what I thought it was going to be. Um, I ordered this online, so I didn't really even read much about it. Um, but yeah, you guys know. I need me a nice lather. I need me a deep cleanse. And this just was not cutting it at all. And I was mad because my hair was dirty this day. Um, so you just see me kind of working it in with my fingers. Um, and then I'm just like rubbing it all over my hair. That was one thing I did like about it. It is super duper softening. If I wanted to detangle with it, I definitely could have um but it just was not for me so I did you know when I rinsed it out my hair did feel nice and soft like I said it's very softening but did not feel clean at all So the next product I used was the SOS Deep Moisture Restore Conditioner. This is for deep hydration and rejuvenating the hair. Um, it's made with macadamia oil, marshmallow extract, safflower oil. The smell wasn't as bad as the shampoo, but I still just was not a fan of it. Now, putting this onto my hair, um, I was very disappointed because I feel like the... Um, conditioning shampoo was so much more moisturizing and had way more slip than the actual conditioner so that was a bit annoying you guys might be able to see I'll leave it in real time that I don't know my hair just was not easy to detangle it wasn't hard but it wasn't as easy as like it usually is like you guys can kind of see my fingers keep getting stuck and I have to do a little bit more work so it wasn't horrible but yeah this just wasn't a conditioner that i would go go to or go for um so yeah another thing i noticed was my curls weren't reacting the way they typically do to other conditioners that i've tried um so that was another indicator and i don't know when i rinsed this off i just kind of felt like i had a film on my hair which i never ever do when i use products i don't know i just was not I just was not happy, you guys. So the last product I used in the shower was the Masquerade Transforming Hair Mask. This is a 5-in-1 treatment um, that is supposed to rejuvenate dehydrated and damaged hair, improve your texture and shine, give you long-lasting moisture, hide split ends, and fight frizz. So the smell of this wasn't too bad. Um and it was super thick and creamy so i did actually really like this it was super softening much soft much more softening than the previous conditioner i used and i do feel like if i would have just used this after the shampoo that um detangling would have been super duper easy so since my hair was already detangled i just worked it on in left it on while i showered and then when i rinsed my hair um, my hair did feel soft but i don't know i just didn't feel like my hair was curling up how it usually was or how it usually does so i don't know i didn't really care for this wash day you guys all right so this is me out of the shower you guys my hair was feeling good um but look 
look at them flakes look at that dandruff my hair was still so so dirty so that co-wash didn't do nothing i was so mad um but i just decided to do at first i was going to do a low ponytail with like a little design in the middle as you guys can see that section i'm holding um but i ended up doing two like puffs so yeah i'm spraying this first section of my hair with some water detangled it with my tangle teaser and then i applied some of the heritage ahead of the curl curl cream and um like i said some of these products are for curly hair some are for coily i'll put down below which is for which because i don't remember but um this curl cream was my favorite product out of everything it was so softening um it wasn't too light but it also wasn't super thick it was the perfect consistency and it had a lot of moisture so i did really like this um so then the problem set in when i tried to use the heritage to the max maximum hold styling gel So you see me right here just applying some of the gel to my first little section. I was doing a rubber band style, which you guys will see in a second. Um, but the gel literally had like no hold at all. And it's supposed to be a max hold gel. And it's supposed to be good for like updos and stuff like that. No. This stuff, my hair was just curling up. Um, and then you guys will see right here that like, I don't know, it's like, the products were clumping together you would think that these products would work together since they're from the same brand i don't know y'all i was just not happy so you see me taking my eco style and i'm just gonna have to try and make it work with the eco style which i actually did i didn't have any problems mixing the Shh. sorry y'all that's my kids um mixing the curl cream with eco style so um yeah i'm just gonna fast forward through this little rubber band part and then i'll show you how i do the rest of my hair doing two ponytails or puffs so for the first side i just drenched it in some water since it pretty much dried out um then i added some of the curl cream from heritage even though i did not care for any of the other products i did really like this curl cream so went ahead and used that um and then i just brushed it up with my tangle teaser added some eco style to my edges and then brushed it up into a ponytail um and then i did the exact same thing to the other side and then i let the ponytails kind of dry while i was doing my makeup i filmed a makeup video for y'all i'm not perfect so don't judge me but um it'll be coming soon and then i'll show you guys the final look looks like you guys i thought it was a cute little simple style um i did add some gold beads or gold you know those thingies to the top of my head um all in all one out of five products is definitely a bust so this just goes to show you that everything does not work on my hair like y'all think so let me know if you guys even heard of these products or if you tried them or even were interested I would love to know. So don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, you guys. And I'll see you guys in my next video.